of God's master puzzle in the world. When God thinks of his children, he thinks of each of you times the other millions and billions of us that there are in the world. And what would happen if the gift that God has given you, maybe because you don't think it's significant, maybe because um, you don't have a platform, or maybe because whatever excuse we use to come up with, you decide to withhold your gift, then the puzzle would be put together and there would be a missing hole somewhere in there waiting for you to occupy the place that God has already set out for you. And it only goes to show that if God has a big image of all of his children, and you are one of them, then I can't allow anybody to try to push me out of the place that God has already prepared for me. I am a puzzle piece in God's master puzzle, so that I have to walk in that, and I have to live in that. about God is that when we come to him transparent as if he doesn't already know I don't know why we try to keep it from him like you can put up the facade with me because all I see is beauty when I look at all of you right now um, but you can put up the facade but God already knows God already knows that you're broken on the inside he already knows that that one particular situation is what's keeping you up at night go to him with that when you're transparent and just lay it out before him uh, when you're diligent, when you get some discipline, and when you're committed to what God has asked you to do or committed to, it's not good enough to just say, I, I struggle with um, discipline, and then I'm just like, so, you know, that's just, that's just who I am. Like, no, God doesn't want you to struggle in any area of your life. Put some work in. Then we get to experience some growth. I want you to know that God has something inside of you that's just waiting to bloom. In church, we would say, touch your neighbor and tell them. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Tell your neighbor. <laughs>